Are you tired of gridlock traffic in the industrial sections of your city? Do you want to optimize your transportation and cargo network and keep your factories running smoothly with goods available to all? Well, in this video, I'm going to share four expert tips for managing traffic in your city skylines industrial areas. So don't miss out on the chance to streamline your city and revolutionize the way you build and play. So keep watching to learn more. So hello everybody, welcome back to Biffalo County in City Skylines with me Biffa and the first thing we want to do is to pick an area where we can build our new industrial zone because we have a huge need for industry as you can see here, very high demand, lots of places complaining about not enough goods, these are complaining about not enough people, <laughs> we'll probably get to that at some point. But let's have a look, we do have the option to unlock another square around here, so we really want to pick a square that's really going to help us with our industry. You can see I've marked a couple of little ideas here. If we look at our natural resources that we've got, we could take a square over here that gives us more forestry and farmland. Um, we've got a square over here which starts taking in ore. A square over here that takes in oil. This one over here, nice big oil area in the sea. This one here, tons of forestry. So we've got lots of lots of choices. But tip number one is we want to analyze the traffic that we could be causing in that area. So let's just take a look at this option down here. So if we took this square over here, as we saw, we've got lots of options to have trees, a bit of farming over there as well, which is good. We've got access to this highway and also to this rail line that goes through here. So this, I think, yeah, it doesn't dead end. It carries on through, connects to inside and outside the city. So that would be a fantastic square. Um, it wouldn't be causing traffic for anywhere else. The only problem is, is when the goods are transported, they could come around this way. They're possibly more likely going to go that way. We're going to have a bridge across there if we did this area. So lots of options. I would like a secondary bridge across because if we look at our traffic, the main place that we get traffic is over this one bridge that we've got that connects our two areas. This bridge is just like a highway bridge. So some other connection would be good. But that is looking like a nice area, first of all. Let's turn it back around this way. Uh, we also had an option on the other side of the river over here, this square. If we turn our resources on and take a look at this one, we would get this bit of farmland down here not the flattest of areas uh, we do have access as you can see to a road that goes through here which connects to the highway oh, we've got a river use along here i don't think we're going to be carrying cargo over this little tiny river um, no rail line that i can see it's up the top here so we could split off and bring that through the terrain bit more of a problem perhaps we could build in between the hills here yeah, maybe that would be a second option. What other options do we have? So we also have a lot of oil that is available up the top here over the other side of the mountain. Let's maybe take a look at this square here. Very, very tall mountain, as you can see. So we're going to be limited to really watch just below here and in the water. And there is quite a lot available there. Uh, we do have a little community over here, but it'd be far enough away. Um, for traffic, we've got this one road that goes through here, which at the minute connects to a sort of another sub road and then gets to the highway. So connection to the outside, really nowhere near as good. We could have sea access, of course, with uh, a cargo hub of some sort, which we could then have connected round to our other cargo hub that we've got over here. So that might work. I'm thinking that's a third option. And then without spreading out too far onto the other island, sort of sticking near to where we've got, we've got this option over here where there's oil uh, and that sort of stuff available. Let's just take a look at this one. So here we've got oil. We've got some forestry, although to be honest, we can, we can put forestry anywhere. We have ore as well and some farming, although I think that would be two separate squares. Yeah, so it'd be this one or this one. Let's just turn that on again. Yeah, so this one I have the ore and the farming. It's got access to this highway uh, over here. Although with this nice natural lake that we've got in here, I was hoping for some sort of tourism, waterfront shopping, something like that there with only sort of a quiet farm nearby. And, and with the oil over here as well, a very hard terrain to build on. I don't think... Oh, auto save. <laughs> Let's have a quick sip of tea. I'm quite happy to think about that. 
Are you after a strong, sturdy mug for your cups of tea? Or coffee, it works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug, now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com. Yeah, I'm not sure a big oil build over here would really work with what I've got. So taking all of that into consideration, I'm thinking this square here is the square that we want to go for. And everybody's so happy with the choice that we have. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for your support. So we are going to purchase this square over here. And we've got other squares available to us as well when we get there. Good, good. So just again, analyzing the traffic. If we just use our traffic in-game tool that we've got, we can see traffic is really clear around here, which is fantastic. Hopefully, we're not going to be adding to the traffic over there once we've maybe added some sort of bridge across, connection across here as well. Even if we didn't add a connection across here, but made it this way as a local road, which we could do to bring in some cargo, which could work with the cargo that we've got there. Yeah, I think there's a lot we can do with that, which is fantastic. Uh, you could also, if this was already a built-up area, of course, you could always use your in-game traffic routes tool um, and then just sort of select a road and see where the traffic's going and that sort of thing. But as there's nothing really coming down here, um, yeah, there's no point going too much into that. So, yeah, excellent. So, tip number one, traffic and access analysis. Tick, we've done that and we've picked our square. So tip number two is road and transport design. And we've already mentioned a couple of those things. One of them being we want to give access to cargo on the waterfront here. So let's just pop down that so we've got that in mind and we can keep that ready for when we start building here. So we've got our cargo hub, which has the train, of course. Um, and then we've got the cargo harbour. We do have a train line through here. So I definitely think our cargo hub will be a good one to build and um, we are going to sort of add add some stuff on the shoreline over here but i'm going to put that there for now and then of course we can add our train in actually just before i do that i am going to add in here some sort of key wall just the basic key i think will be good oh we've got a lot of stone structures and things over here which i really would like to to save <laughs> We're not saving the rocks in this one with an alien rock park, but those of you that get the reference, if you know, you know. Um, so if I add something like that in, just along there to start off with, yeah, that would do. And then we can easily plonk that up against there. Excellent. Then we can run our train line. Oh, it's always weird that the train line is like up and over the water. I don't know why it's like that, because the first thing I want to do is just loop it back around and get it onto, onto the ground again. Um, but we're going to have some sort of junction through here. And we've got a hill. So it could run around the hill and connect there. And then have the other connection. Hmm, this side. Now this is actually all built onto a bridge, isn't it? Well, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've tried to sort of keep it level on the terrain that we've got going on here. Of course, we can sort of work on these little sections at the end. If we do that and do this, it never does it. it never does it for me. Let's go with this one here. We'll just bring that back a little bit out there. Yep, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm assuming red's the other one. Yep, yeah, there we go. We'll bring that back a little bit out there, and that'll be fine. That's all connected up. Uh, let's just do the same for this one as well. How's this connection looking? That one's looking fine. And I'm pretty sure the heights are going to be okay. Let's just use this tool here. Just for that sort of bit of realism. Um, we want to sort of try and get that working okay. Yeah, that drops it down a tiny bit. And then we'll go from there to up there. And that one's got a bit of a lift in it. But it's fine, yeah. So we could even have this bit along here. Could also be a raised piece as well. Just to fit in with what we've got going on. And then that can sort of slope through to there. And let's just do a final grading of that. Yep, that's good. Excellent. And that comes through to there. Very good, very good. So that's working with the terrain as well. So I'm pleased about that. And then, of course, we want to consider road hierarchy. Well, it turns out, I didn't even notice this here. We've actually got a junction coming off the highway, which is absolutely brilliant. Already got the lane mathematics in there. Excellent. Very good. So three lanes. One comes off down to two. And then the other way, two lanes and the one joins. I'm telling you what I am. Good. Actually, we'll, we'll come back to that. So we've got this road coming through here. We've got, let's have a look. So that's one lane and that takes it either direction. 
Yeah, so this is only a small road that's coming through here. I was hoping for a larger connection. I'm just thinking what we're going to do. Because we want our initial connection to be through to here and to be quite a big road. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, if I grab that there, and then we're going to go for a four-lane road, which means we might sort of change what that is. And again, sort of following the terrain a minute comes across here we could have some sort of bridge over the top there that wouldn't be too much of a problem we'll come over here and then this road here we're going to change out so we're going to unlock that we're then going to upgrade it with the larger road so again we're keeping in mind uh, the traffic that we're going to be having come through here oh i've still got this one here haven't I? let's do that close that then we'll be able to upgrade this there we go excellent and then you always want to lock it again afterwards and then we can connect that let's close that one up connect that up to there so that works out nice uh, for a connection over to there and then we can always bring that road around here and then start building up our center but for access to the outside already that is looking brilliant so what have we got over here we've got a little bit of farming um so we could certainly put a farming industrial zone over here uh, if i put my resources back on again we'll be able to see that there we go so we're going to grab sort of all of that there i'm um, not going to bother with that bit over there and then the rest of it is probably just going to be forestry because there's loads of trees over here so we're going to bring all of this in and actually now i'm just seeing along the coast there boink we can get a bit of ore so what i think i might just do is grab all of that down here and see whether we can get our ore industry in as well there we go we've just named each of those so we can keep in mind what we're going to be doing so that this is really going to be an area where there's going to be a lot going on it may be that this side we take out for some factories because we're going to have all the products here that we're making and we start unlocking the factories so we'll see how it goes and i'm hoping this little inter interchange here uh, will hold up with what we're doing it should do but if not we can always work on that Okay, so we've got the backbone of our area here, this four-lane road, which I'm pretty sure is going to hold most of the traffic. And then we'll have some other roads that go in and out of our separate sections here. We may even have, ooh, I don't know, whether a couple of roads on and off the highway over here. We'll see how busy this gets. But yeah, that's all part of your second tip, is your road and transport design. How are your goods going to get in and out of the area without causing too many issues now i was talking about a bridge across here somewhere and i want to really visit that because as we mentioned the highway crosses here and over here that is never too busy uh, our one little local bridge over here so this is the same if you built on just a nice flat map with different areas people have highways around the outside and then don't have any internal connections and then all the highways get clogged up well i've sort of got the opposite problem uh, where this gets super busy and i think uh, some sort of bridge ideally it's going to be at the closest point um which is here but as we can see uh this is all houses over here let's try and get rid of all of that there we go excellent so this is all houses here and i don't think a bridge coming into that spot there would be very friendly whereas this is quite close and that is a ferry um which we could sort of maybe build off the side of or we'll move that across and have the bridge come out here and i don't think that would be such a bad idea so i'm thinking this american four-lane truss bridge will be perfect for a cross here and if we could get it the same height as that that will work really well so let's just pause a second and maybe just change things up a bit i'm thinking this is where the connection is going to be so we're going to just disconnect that from there um yeah and we'll just draw it across and see how we go and i think it's just going to literally come over to here would be good let's have a look at that well that's just really weird isn't it i put it into bridge mode <laughs> whoa jumpy game what the heck's going on and it has not made bridge mode at all 
Um, do I need to just lift all this up? Let's just try that. That is weird. That is very weird. And if I lift that up... <laughs> that is not what I want. Okay, let's just let's just try this and upgrade it to bridge. No, upgrade it to up in the air mode. Ah, there we go. It doesn't want to be bridge mode. It wants to be up in the air mode. Okay, fair enough. Weird, but you know, whatever. Um, so we've got all of the nodes there. So I'm going to set them at the same height. Zoomy zoom as this over here. So control H that node. Oh, I've lost some bike path through there how the heck did that happen oh my goodness the whole world's falling apart okay let's just put that on up mode there we go excellent so we come back over here so that's the height we're working with and at the minute i don't think we have anybody trying to cut through there we maybe do with this which is i think that's just our outside like cargo line which yeah cuts through that one anyway and we may if we need to we'll lift it up it's fine right okay let's just connect this over here okay excellent that is looking good i'm just going to do a little bit of work on this junction over here um let's just expand that just a little bit let's go to 28 over there that'll be good be interesting to see how much this gets used already. 28, yeah, excellent. Little short. Oh, ah, okay, what's happening there? Obviously, need to work on this. Control H, set that to the same as that. That is good. Not sure I want traffic lights on here. Um, so let's remove those. That's it. We'll turn them off on this end and we'll turn them off on that end and we'll just let the game work itself out. Excellent. So that now gives us another route into here for cargo getting in and out and not all the way around there. Plus, we've got our cargo uh, ferries, cargo ships, and we could even add barges in at some point as well. And finally over here, thinking of public transportation. Well, a lot of people are going to be driving around here to get to this area, but I am thinking we've got this ferry over here we could connect up another ferry just as sort of a bridge over to this end. Let's have a look. Where else have we got our ferry? We had this one here, didn't we, as well? I think that went to there. So if we have that one, I mean, it could literally cross over to the side over here. And that might just sort of save some road trips. So if we just pick that and we'll pop this right down here alongside. And then we can connect that up and yeah. That would be very helpful. So before we forget, let us set up a ferry pathway over there. And yeah, as I was thinking, there is no other connection on here. So we're going to go from there to there, from there to there. And then we're going to just run that. There we go. Our ferry line backwards and forwards from there to there. Oh, it will go round the outside. Excellent. That is exactly what we want to see. And then we'll get to the naming and all the rest of it. Once we've named and built up this area. Very good. So now we're on to step three, which will be the building and the testing stage. So we've identified an area. We have put in lots of options for helping with the traffic, moving of the goods around, all that sort of thing. So now we just need to build it and, and see what happens and test. And if we need to make some changes, make some changes. This is being utilized already, which is exactly what I want to see. Fantastic. So maybe let's just take these little areas one at a time. We're going to have a teeny tiny farming industry area over here. That will be the parks industries are over here. There we go. Um, so we've got to set down here our main farm building. I wish there was a more sort of industrial looking sort of farm building. But alas and alack there isn't. So we're going to go with what we've got. So we're just going to take that back a little bit over there. And I'm just thinking whether we could just utilize this little spot here. Um, and then I'm going to look on the workshop. I can't find the industry, industry thing again. I am going to look on the workshop for some sort of option of another type of building. But for now, we're going to go with this one. And we're going to put it smack bang on the main road. That's where it's going to go. I think that looks nice. And we can find an industrial version of that. Then we will do that. So that now means that this is the beach center. Excellent. So we're going to get all of our crops. And then we've got the ore one down here. Actually, if we do it this way. 
where it's going to be trying to get it is all out here in the water. So this is actually going to be a very interesting... There's a little bit on the land, but really not much at all. So I think we're just going to pop this up against the trees. There we go. We've got level one. I don't think I had this pop up for the farming, did I? But anywho, uh, acquisition over there, farming. It's in the area. Yeah, okay. Maybe I just was blind and I missed it. But that's good. So that's going to get us going over there. And then the forestry, which is just going to be in the middle here, we need to just pop in a little bit more road infrastructure. So I think what I'm going to do is give the ore a little bit more of an area to work in like that. And if we just put this on as well. Yeah, we can see it always sort of follows the shape of that bit of terrain there. So I think that terrain node there coming off of here could be another road. We're not going to go for one that's quite as big. Um, let's go for the industry roads because I do like those. We can take one of these. And we're going to just roughly follow that line there. And then we're going to bring that back into there. Excellent. Then we're going to get rid of the trees on road. Oh, I still get people asking me, why don't I just turn that off there and it will get rid of the trees? It's because when the game starts up again, they'll all be in the road again. So I do it this way. And then once I've removed them, I know for a fact that they've all gone. So that's not going to be an issue. So let's just expand that node there right by the bridge. But I think that should be okay. Um, again, we're going to sort of think ahead a bit here and we want a bit of asymmetry uh, working on this road here. What's this one here? Four way, two lane, this one here. That'll be good. So we're going to pop that in with the two lanes coming out. Zoink. And we'll do the same on the other end as well. That'll be good. We'll decide later if we want traffic lights or whatever we want along there but i think we should be fine people cutting through already excellent so now we're in the heart or right on the edge of our area that's going to be our forestry so i think this little spot here we could do something with this i was going to flatten out a little piece of land uh, in here just so we can have a platform to build on like this and it's gonna yeah that's right it's gonna kick up against the road over here which i quite like i'm going to remove all of these trees if i strengthen that zoink it will get rid of them first time all off the road all off the thing excellent and then this here is going to be the access uh into not a park no that is an entirely different video into our forestry area so here we're going to place our forestry main building always oh, bigger than i remembered if we put that on there how's that look Oh, it lifts up the land perfectly. A little bit of jiggery pokery with the move it mod. And I think that will be perfect. Oh, and while we've been doing all of that, we have now hit Metropolis. 44,000. Another square we can unlock. And access to airport and cargo airport. Ooh. Now, that is a very interesting addition over here. By the way, any names for our forestry, farming, and ore? Because if you remember, let's turn our map around this way. And we'll just pop up in the corner the graphic that shows the map. Because those that don't know, this entire map was put together by one, two, three, four, five, six different map builders. We started off on Snakus Island, expanded over to Eggsy Island. Uh, we're probably almost just touching on Alley Cat section a little bit, maybe not quite yet. But down here, now we've expanded into the area that Random 5 built, uh, which is fantastic. So a name that is Random 5 related to do with the forestry, the ore and the farming, let me know in the comments below and we will name that in a future episode. I was just going to start running the water over and I'm considering another bridge over here. Because the highway connection is so far all the way round. I thought it was trees on road. It's mountain on road, so that's fine. Uh, the highway connection is so far round. I think we need another little intermediate connection through here. We do have these guys coming through. So, yeah. Let us go with... We've got this bridge over here. We've also got... There's like a European bridge as well. Which, you know, I know this isn't sort of really a European... But four-lane stone bridge, which I think looks very nice. If we go up in the air like that. Put that alongside this. Get a bit of that action. Obviously, it would be better if it was not in the water. Yeah, let's do that. Right, that's all the same height as the other bridge. Is this high enough for this person 
to get through. Let's just, what, what do you think? What do we think? Votes in the comments below. No. But as he's here, that's very handy because I think we've still got our node selected. Have we not? No, we haven't. So if we do that and then come all the way along here, there we go. We can now page this up until we get above his little mast, which I think is about there. Yeah, do you know what? He'd have to like go right through the center, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, and now I'm thinking that this connection isn't necessarily going to be a good one. So <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll have to think of something else. I'm just thinking, could we work with the terrain here and come up with something interesting? If I put that to ground height like that, we'll come out 12, then we'll grab a 4U road. Could we sort of curve that around and attach it over here and just have just a really interesting, super weird and different uh, road connection? Yeah, why not i think that works okay we can sort of level this out a bit as well if we come from there to there just level that out a tiny bit i mean that's not too bad is it that is not too bad at all straight across the top we do lose a, a thing here but we, we can work on that and then over here let's just grab that there so we're going to take this down to road level let's do it this way put that up in the air down to road level we'll go 12 there we go excellent then we'll go for that one we'll go for our for you and then what are we trying to connect into we've got this road here um so let's just expand this a little bit there we go a little something like that and then we can take that there to that there and that is not bad at all is it look at that we'll level that down so now we've got a connection over to this side. We're going to get that Nord and we're going to make that 20. And then we're going to come over to here and get that Nord and make it 20. Boink. Oh, I think that looks good. I'm liking that bit of extra infrastructure. Right, I'm going to get power and water across here. And the final bit of water is in. Everybody's happy. They've all got water. They've all got power. Excellent. So now we need to just build up some of our infrastructure we can already see this is being used so i'm assuming assuming i should say that it's yeah people coming from the outside of the city now are coming in that way instead of other directions which is good so something like this may become a little roundabout but it's it's holding up it's doing okay and then we're going to start getting people coming over this way a little bit yeah which is good we've got traffic lights in there let's just Use our little in-game tool to get rid of those. Junction is the one I want. There we go. Excellent. I'm pleased with that. So let's start down here with a little build in our farming area and see how we can make this look. Okay, a little farming area there. We've gone for a pear tree farm, and that is working well. We've got our cows in here, so the crops are getting transported over. And don't forget, when you first set up an area like this, um, all of your, let's come out of this view here, all of your grain silos and barns are going to be putting calls out for crops. So you're probably going to get a lot of traffic initially as that's all brought across. Although... We do have these places over here, which are also... Oh, they're making forestry products. Beg your pardon. We don't have a farm anywhere else, do we? Um, pretty sure we do. Yeah, over here. Yeah, look at this. Forgot about this one. So Palpatine Farms, of course, because it looks like the Millennium Falcon over here. <laughs> so we've got some crops over here. So they might be taken out and moved across. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, that will do for now. And don't worry, we had down the bottom here lock forestry is on so even though i've placed trees all around here bom, 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 it doesn't mess up with our fertile land excellent and the only other thing i might just change knowing that this is going to get busy down here is to give this here uh, an asymmetrical road coming in and out and also do i want to give them another connection somewhere i feel like i do i'm going to bring that one whoops 
that one there i'm going to just sort of curve it around into there and then we're going to pop an asymmetrical road on there as well there we go excellent and then we'll just do the node take off the traffic lights so that should be okay we'll just straighten that out a bit yeah don't mind it being at an angle like that and we'll say give way remove the trees and we'll just do the same over here as well. We'll just make that a little bit bigger. Normally about 15 for that is fine. And then we'll do give way as well. Excellent. So at least the main road can keep moving. I'm going to upgrade this road here. There we go. Excellent. So now we've got dedicated lane we can have if we wish to go straight into there. And also if one no too many. We'll just remove that one. Excellent. So that should. What I'm going to do actually. I am going to give them dedicated lanes. Control shift left click with that one. Dedicated lanes in and out, dedicated lanes over there, and dedicated lanes here, because it is going to get busy. And I'm also thinking that this road along the front here could probably just do with being a normal. What have we got here? What speed's that? That's 50. Two lane country road. And this one's got lines on it. That's 80. Yeah, let's go for this one here. There we go. So we've still got our rural gravel roads up there. But as we see, lots of traffic. But this road is slightly quicker now, getting people in and out of the area. Cool beans. Okay. So now I'm just going to do the same for our ore and our forestry. And then we'll just take a look at how everything is going. Right, nothing too complicated for our forestry. Plenty of storage down the front here and factories. We could probably fit another little factory over there for our planks. And we've got our biomass pellet over here. Lots of room for detailing if we get time for that today. But I think that will start us off well. We can already see all the cargo trucks coming and going. Uh, cargo trucks, cargo boats coming and going around here, which is great because they're all trying to fill up. Uh, all of our storages, which are all set to balanced for now, but that's good. So we're going to make a ton of beach raw forestry products stored in here, sent over here and sent over here, which is good. I am going to add another one of those in because I know we're going to use all of that. Very good, very good. So now it is for, that's our forestry, so now it is for our ore. And I'm just wondering how best to do this one. Okay, so we don't actually get access to our seabed mining vessel until we get to level three. So all of this ore around here, and there is a lot of it, is at the moment unavailable to us. I'm just thinking, of course, we've got the, the option here. We can just paint some of our resources in. So I'm just thinking whether we take this little section over here. We've got this little hill and turn this into a little section with ore as well. So that would mean, if we just took all of this out, we could sort of build into this hillside here, which would sort of fit the, you know, the theme of what we're going for with the ore. So if we do that, and then we've got our ground resources brush, oil and ore. If I put that on, I should be able to see what I'm doing. No, we need to turn this one on. There we go. And we just sort of brush a reasonable amount around there. There we go. And now we can build into this. Yeah, I was thinking of putting some sort of bridge across here, but I don't know what I'm doing. That's like connected to something weird underneath there. <laughs> let me just let me just see what I can do with all of this. There's so many trees in the way. If we lift that up to there, then hopefully that'll be on the same height as that, which is good. There we go. And that can continue across there somehow, which is fine. And then this can just connect down into there. Brilliant. And then we're just going to use this tool, as always, to smooth this all out. No, I want to go around this way. So I'm thinking I want to just dig out a big chunk of this mountain to put in... What's the largest one? Oh, we haven't got access to this one yet. That's a level five. So we've literally got the small ore mine... <laughs> and that is it. We've got the small ore mine, then we've got the ore grinding mill, then we've got the storage. So we're going to have to go with this one. So yeah, let's see what we can do by digging a bit of this out. Yeah, sort of mess the level up a little bit. Then it looks like 
That is just being dug into the mountain. That's going to take a while to build up. So we reach the final step. We've got everything built that we want over here. We've just got this going into the mountain here. Obviously needs a bit of power. Got a little bit of storage over there. So that's going to take a while to build up. But now we just need to look around and check that everything is working okay. So I could probably jump. Well, that's connected to there. So they're fine. So if we just run this over here for now as a temporary fix excellent so now we want to just sort of check the traffic and things over here now this was pretty busy going around this section here by the trees so what i've decided to change instead of this being a one-way road i've now got these four lane roads going through there although i probably don't need four lane roads through here but i'm going to keep it there we've got the extra structure that we need for future proofing uh, this little section here, that's a very sharp turn there. I mean, that is just sort of the way I had it set up. But I'm going to change that to give way there and dedicated turning lane. So hopefully that will run okay. If that continues to be a problem, I will probably connect it here and pop in a roundabout. But to me at the moment, that looks all right. So let's just check this here. These are going okay. What have we got? I'm going to do give way up there. Because this road isn't so busy, but that's where everybody's coming in from. But that's moving okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to upgrade this road here, so we get dedicated lanes, yeah, down there, and also sort of semi-dedicated semi lanes up here. That's looking all right. This is looking okay. This is starting to look a little bit busy. We are going to adjust this up to 20 and then we're going to give them dedicated lanes as well there we go and then i'm going to set that to give way so these can keep moving in which will be nice um i guess they will go in down there so we're going to dedicated lanes there as well so these again are putting in those calls to balance these to fill them up and to do a lot of stuff with that we don't have the factories over here yet but we can add those in we could even add those just at the front here, couldn't we? So basically, at the moment, it's just the ore grinding mill. So I'm going to just set that away from the road and do that. There we go. Excellent. Plenty of ore for coming into those. And then along the front here, we knew this was going to be a queue. And I was thinking of making this a one-way road going this way. But then that means everybody coming down from here would sort of run through there, come down there and make that super busy so at the moment i'm gonna leave it and see how that goes we've got the trains coming in and out this area is looking good over here which is fantastic and across the bridge as well we're seeing lots of people using this and either side this is all working okay we don't have dedicated lanes to come off there i might just upgrade those there we go and it seems a bit silly to have that over there so we'll just do that as well make that all the way up like so there we go excellent so we've got dedicated lanes coming in there we should do that excellent make that a tiny bit bigger no i think that's fine i'm going to make it a little bit smaller there we go very good so that has also alleviated traffic uh, oh let's check this other bridge that's alleviated traffic going to other places as well. We're going to do dedicated lanes in there. I think I've already adjusted the size of that. So now we've got people coming in and out from that direction, which means this is nowhere near as busy as it was before, which is great. This is always busy, but it's not too bad. It keeps moving, although it's backed up down here. But as we said, we've just put a huge cooling for a lot of trucks so i think that is a fantastic four-step plan to be able to take in three different industries on this island to have the infrastructure the future proofing and the testing to make sure there's no traffic and we are getting all the goods that we need out to our lovely people in the rest of our city well there's so much more to do in biffalo county so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one and then check out the next video on the screen Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.